Hello and welcome back. This is Mobile Experience and this video is titled Upnote Mobile Extended Features. To start off with, I'd like to go with the or to the Upnote widget you see on my screen. Let me show you how to get it first on the iPhone. It's sure it's a little different on the uh, Android. You just pick an empty part of the screen, you hold it down until you see the little icons jiggle. At the top left, you'll see a little plus sign. Press that, and you can go to search if you like, or you can just browse. And there are choices for the different kinds of widgets you, you can get. That's my favorite there, the first one. Here's one, a little bit different styles. And here's a very large one that gives you lots of your notes at your fingertips, but I prefer this one. It uh it has the features that I would most likely need. Let me tap out of there. The first feature I want to show you on the widget is to the far left. Let me tap that. And it can create a list for you, as you can see. The next thing I would like to tell you about is to the right of the uh, list is uh, the link to pictures on your phone. You can put a picture in a note if you like. There is a camera. It is not a scanner, I believe. It's just a camera, so its, it's photographs are not as uh, clear-cut as a scanner. But I will show you a scanner sometime in this video. And then to the right of that is an interesting feature. If you click the little squiggly line, you can actually draw. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you is a scanner I use to import data into Upnote. There are several scanners. I kind of play around with them a little bit. They're scannable, which is uh, primarily for Evernote. You can send files to other uh, note-taking websites as well. Genius Scan is really good. Microsoft Lens works kind of so-so in my opinion. Um, Adobe Scan works really good. You can also add tags to the note. Let me uh, pause briefly while I demonstrate how to use it. And you simply scroll over to business card. And it takes a picture. It does a pretty good job. As you see, it does a fair job at scanning. This is not the scanner I predominantly use, but it was just the first one I thought of for this demonstration. Okay, the last thing I would like to mention is the power of your smartphone in, in, in conjunction with Upnote. You can scan just about everything and keep in the app. I, uh, I keep tax documents. You can also put, if you have children and they draw lots of art from school, you can scan those as well. You can scan your or you can scan your thoughts on paper if you're not near your smartphone. And some people just like taking notes on paper, paper notebook, and then transferring it to Upnote. You don't have to retype it, or you don't have to tra you know transcribe it from the written text. You can just uh, snap a, a photo of it or use a proper scanner and import it, and it'll look really nice. You can also scan important receipts. You can scan your medical records to keep in there. It's hard to keep up with those. Sometimes they really accumulate. You can scan birth certificates. That's nice to have. If you were to lose them, at least you would have an idea of what your information was. You can uh, scan college transcripts or high school transcripts. Those are just a few of the examples that you can do to put inside of Upnote. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos on Upnote and other tech-related issues, please like and subscribe and feel free to comment. Thank you and have a great day.